An American doctor infected with the Ebola virus is back in the U.S. tonight under quarantine at a Georgia hospital. He'll soon be joined by another American aid worker who's also infected with the virus. Our Richard Reeve is live in the newsroom with more on the fight to save their lives and some concern over the, the U.S. bringing two Ebola patients to the United States, Rich. Yeah, Chris, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention officials say they've received nasty emails. They've also gotten about 100 calls from people angry about bringing Ebola-stricken patients into this country. But health officials insist the safety measures in place are enough to keep the virus contained and the public safe. Wearing a full biohazard suit supported by a medical worker, Dr. Ken Brantley, America's first ever Ebola patient, walked in for treatment today. A hopeful sign says his brother. I'm worried about him. Yeah, I am, but he'll be okay regardless. Brantley ended a 5,000 mile journey from Liberia here at Dobbins Air Reserve Base. He made the flight inside an isolation chamber like this to protect the crew from the deadly virus. But we really think that we have processes that maintain, again, the safety of not just the patients, but the general public at large. There are similar measures at Emory University Hospital in a special isolation room where Brantley is receiving treatment. We put tape between the uniform and the gloves just to form an extra barrier. Medical personnel will be gowned, gloved, and taped, their faces covered with protective plastic. The risk of any transmission to the community is minimal to none. A second aid worker, Nancy Reitball, is to arrive in Atlanta soon. I understand the public concern. This is a new infection for the United States. Medical officials in the White House say doctors are using handheld thermometers and thermal imaging cameras to catch anyone at West African airports with a fever. We're making sure we're doing screening as they uh, leave the country. We'll do additional screening when we're here. It takes a lot of worry and care about other people to put your own life at risk for people you don't know. Now, both Brantley and Whiteball are described as critically ill after treating Ebola patients at a missionary hospital in Liberia. There is no proven cure for the virus. It kills 60 to 80 percent of the people it infects, but medical experts say the mortality rate would be much lower in a functioning health care environment like that at the Emory Hospital. Live in the newsroom, Richard Reeve, ABC 7 News.